Howdy, it's Tubal Kane again, and this time to talk about my closing lathe and something that I've wanted for a long time, and that is I would like to have a collet attachment for this 12-inch uh, lathe, but they are very unaffordable and hard to find. So I'm going to show you in this video how to make yourself a poor man's collet attachment, and this could apply to any brand lathe, but I'm centering this around the uh, closing lathe. Now rather than using the 5C collets that uh, are most common for lathe work, this is a, a number 3 Morse taper collet. And these are actually meant for milling machines and these are available in number 2 Morse taper as well. And these are real cheap. These are about $10 a pop. And in the, the number 3 Morse taper they go up to about 3 quarters of an inch in diameter. This is a half inch. But in the uh, number two more taper, they're not going to go up uh, as high as three quarter. I believe it's a half inch. Now the disadvantage of these is that the stock will not go all the way through like it does with a 5C collet because we need a draw bar to hold this into the lathe. So the actual depth, their maximum depth of, uh, of, of the work that it will hold is approximately two inches up to this line. That's the big disadvantage. The uh, advantage is they're very cheap and you can make your draw bar very quickly and very easily. This is the sleeve adapter that goes into the uh, closing lathe and uh, different lathes have a different number of uh, tapers. This is actually a, a number four and a half taper that goes into a closing. But as you can see, the uh, uh, Morse taper it fits very readily in there, but it has to be pulled in and that'll be done with a draw bar. Now my draw bar is nothing more than a piece of all thread of the appropriate length and every lathe will be a different uh, length depending on the spindle. And on the end here I have uh, mounted a piece of, uh, well this is actually a coupling nut that is used uh, in the world of uh, threaded rod and and uh, repair jobs and so on and I pin that onto there and I've used a uh, Loctite. Now on the end here I put uh, a hardened bolt just something uh, that I can wrap on with my lead hammer to release the collet. The number uh, the Morse taper collars do not release as readily as a 5C collet because the taper is so gradual so you do need to tap on the end rather briskly in order to release it. And then the other thing here is this adapter. And that was quickly turned on the lathe. It's aluminum, but it could be any material. And this is designed to fit into the end of the spindle and center the rod, the draw bar, in the center of the, of the uh, outboard part of the spindle. Now looking at this end of the uh, lathe, notice that the adapter that I've got here fits nicely into there so that when I tighten it up and with a flat washer in there it will draw up the collet. Now uh, some attachments have a, a type of thrust bearing in here. I don't think it's necessary. I do not have one. I'm just using a, a plain flat washer. Now looking at the spindle end of the lathe, we'll use the adapter. Make sure that you wipe off everything clean. I like to use a rag and then my clean fingers. And then just put your adapter in there as you would, uh, as if it were, there was a center in there. And that'll be drawn in by the, uh, the draw bar so it doesn't need to be uh, hammered in there. And then we're going to put the collet in there and start the draw bar. Make sure it is engaged in the thread. Now with a short piece of half inch stock held in that collet, I'm going to put the lathe in back gears and snug down the collet real well with an adjustable wrench. As you know, any lathe that has a regular threaded spindle has a thread protector on there, so you don't damage the spindle or the threads when you're uh, using the lathe. Now, I do not have one for this lathe, and you know, if you ruin the spindle or damage something here, uh, really you have ruined the lathe, and uh, maybe it's not repairable. So. Uh, I cannot use it without either a, a spindle protector or a dog plate or something. And furthermore, this is going to spin 
when you turn the lathe on. So I'm going to use the uh, drive plate to the dog plate as the protector and in a later video there's a possibility I will make a spindle protector. I'm not sure they even sell one but I've looked on eBay and have been unable to find one but anyway I am going to put the dog plate on right now to protect everything. This is half inch cold rolled steel held in the poor man's collet and uh, with the indicator on there you can see that it is running within a thousandth and uh, being collets here of unknown quality because they're only ten dollars I wasn't sure how accurately it would run and also it depends on the accuracy of that uh, sleeve and you know some other variables here but I am within uh, one thousandth of an inch so old tubal cane is pretty satisfied with his poor man's collet attachment. This of course is just a dummy piece of work here but the uh, dog plate here is a little clumsy but yet it doesn't really interfere with the work and uh, I might buy a complete set of collets for about a hundred dollars you can get uh, eight nine or ten collets so you have one of every one of the common sizes. Again the disadvantage here is the uh, uh, shallowness of the collet and that is because they are meant to hold cutters in a milling machine. If desired a hand wheel could be made on this end to do your tightening with a hand wheel like on other uh, lathe attachments rather than with a wrench but this is uh, certainly uh, usable. To remove the work or loosen the collet, uh, I have it in back gears. Just take your wrench and back this off a turn or two. And we're going to tap it with a soft hammer. There. Now it will take a little more force to tap those loose with a more taper than with a 5C collet. In regards to my Atlas lathe or South Bend or Logan or just about any other brand I do have collets and a collet attachment for this and the uh, correct adapters and thread protectors and everything and these are 3C collets but these Morse taper collets can also be used directly in here because this is a number 3 Morse taper so using a thread protector and you would of course have to make another drawbar because it'll be a different length for this but uh, these collets can be used in this lathe or any other small lathe. Remember this is a number three more taper but they're also available in number twos. Now if you had the number twos you would have to use your sleeve like like this that you normally use with a center, a dead center. So that's just another possibility for this poor man's collet attachment. If you're a poor man like old Tubal Cain is, you might find uh, this video with the poor man's collet attachment to be somewhat useful. And be sure to look at many of my other videos that uh, feature little steam engines and uh, model engines and so forth. And this is Tubal Cain saying so long for now.